Hey, welcome back to Emma Hood Fishing. Today I'm in Chalmette, Louisiana off Paris Road. This waterway I'm fishing, you might be familiar with, it's Bayou B Avenue, or at least it's part of it. And today I'm fishing with my good friend, Glenn Touja. You might recognize him too. He's a popular musician here in New Orleans. And we're going to do some crabbing and we're going to catch some fish. So come on, let me tell you about that. All right, today I'm gonna to be using chicken necks to crab with. Oh, hopefully these are thawed enough. They're still kind of frozen, but so we're gonna do one per net. I'm gonna use four nets today. See them laid out here on the ground. I brought six, but these have been in storage. And when I got at them today and I got here, I noticed that these two have some issues like this one here that is cut right here you see if i put my hand through i don't know how that happened it's coming off right here it's like something some critter got into my storage and gnawed through these nets and they they need to be repaired now so maybe if i feel so industrious i'll fix those off to the side but right now we're just gonna go with four and we're gonna try one piece of chicken neck on each one of them so here I got a little piece of twine and I'm just gonna do like an overhand or a box knot just to like I'm trying to tie my shoes without the bows. There we go, nice and tight. And I'm just gonna tie this into the middle somewhere. And I'll do that to all of them. All right, so it is just up on five o'clock in the afternoon right now and i'm gonna put all my nets right now in the shade crabs they like low light situations and i don't like being in the sunshine so we're gonna just put that right down there and come back and check it every so maybe 15 minutes 20 minutes something like that wrap this around the pylon there you go. All right. So I'm going to do some fishing now. When I'm here, there's some things I'd like to do. I'd like to catch bluegill. I'd like them to feed them to you. How you doing? I haven't seen you. Well, are you mad because I wasn't around? All right. So that's that cat from the last video, last time I was here. So let's, uh, let's see if I can catch some kind of little sunfish to use as bait for bigger fish maybe eat for breakfast or not here we go nice look at that oh got himself off all right that's gonna be a good little bit of bait I think there's someone over here that might want to eat it first. Well, he ain't begging yet. All right, we got cut bait now. I got two little little things to use for cut bait. Okay, I only actually brought one rod for cut bait, one rod for night crawler on the bottom, and an ultralight for drop shotting night crawler. So on my big rod, I have a Ot two cat pro kale and i put i'm gonna put this little bit of fillet of bluegill on it and i'm gonna hook it twice all right as you can see i, I hooked it twice because there's a lot of crabs here and i'm just gonna put it out i'm gonna put this out in the main channel And then I'm gonna loosen the drag. That's good. This BG I have is really good for doing this because it doesn't take too many turns to tighten the drag. I'm just gonna let that sit there because I wanna do other things. So when I start to hear drag peeling, I know to come over and pick it up and tighten the drag and try to reel up on that fish. All right, this is... Oh. Got a little cat. This is like a little hardhead. Yeah. Right, this one is the worm 
on the bottom. And it's, it's a size two octopus, two ounce. I actually may have caught a carp on this rod last night. And I'm not gonna put this out too far. I'm just gonna go right, whoa. Look at all these, look at all this bait here. No, I don't want that fish. Oh my goodness, there is a lot of, there's a lot of shad right here, a lot of minnows, and there's something just knocking them off. Look like little black drum coming up after them. You see all that? Here we go. Little pinfish. <laughs> Here he goes. Nice. A nice little gill. Let's see if they get bigger. I don't need any cup bait right now. I've got plenty. All right, let's check these nets to see if we have anything. A little one. Too small. Oh, that's a nice one. That's happening. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. That hook deep. Look at the colors on that fish. Oh, yeah, that's pretty, Yeah. Whoa, what did I get? Oh, oh, dude, dude, look what I caught on a night crawler. This has never happened to me before. This is awesome. This is the best thing ever. Well, there are some things in life that are better, but and I'm not even gonna go into that. I don't know if it, that hook is in the mouth. I hooked him in the top or lip. That is awesome. I just caught a mullet on a drop shot night crawler. Oh, that's Am I in the UK? What's up with that? That's a reference to people in the UK catching them on uh, breadcrumbs, on crust. <laughs> Nobody has any good luck with that here in the USA, but awesome. I have caught these on a jig before, and it's a rare occasion, so that's a really good bit of bait. We're gonna hold on to that. We're gonna like get it down in here, because that cat, if I don't give him enough fish, He'll try to get into my chest and steal my fish. He, he's honest only half the time. I got something good here. I almost lost the rod. He just, he hit it hard. I'm gonna have to horse him because I do not want him running into this harbor up against this. Oh, jeez. Let's see if we... Got off. Oh, that had to have been a gar, man. Woo! So you might notice that I'm not using steel leader because I'm just not. I'm using 50 pound leader and it's a little roughed up, a little sketched up, but not too bad. We're gonna put this back out here. This is on a three-way swivel with a three ounces of lead. And we're using like pieces of gill as bait. But like I said before, this is a two-watt pro cat kale. 
Let's get it back out there and see if we can get another screaming run. Forgot the landing net, so this is going to be fun if this works out. Got another. You want to stay while I catch this big fish? My friend Gustavo is right over here. I don't know what this is, but it, whoa, it's right here in front of us. This is going to be fun because I don't have the big landing net. Hey, you, just come over here and see if you're landing. Whoa, never might need some help. Maybe I got it. That's what I hit a while ago. That's the, the biggest thing I've caught here today is a stingray. All right, see how I'm picking them up? Thumbs right on each side of the eyes. Just readjust that. As you can see, I had to cut the line. He's swallowed the hook, and we're just gonna plop them in there. All right, I just got a slack line after a little bite. I'm gonna reel up the slack a little bit. See if he's still there with my bait. And he is getting little jerks. Well, he's coming in with this. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten my drag. Here we go. Here's a fish. I got head shakes too. Ooh. Ooh. What do we got here? What do we got here, people? Oh, it's a gar. Watch yourself, Glenn. I'm going to flip him into the boat here. Nice. Whoa. Came unhooked right there. No, it don't. It's better over here than out there in the water. This spotted gar is all muscle. Oh, muscle. Here we go. Nice. If we're going to catch gar, we're going to catch him like that. Yeah, you're right. We're going to let this one go. You didn't want it, do you? No, I'm good. All right. All right, Mr. Spotty. Woo! That was nice. I'm trying to give up on crabbing and pack my crab nets up. And this little guy is like, hey, I'll help you get the bait out. I'll get the bait out for you. Give me give me time, man. Hold on. Hold on. I, I got it. You're supposed to cut through the line, not chew to the bone. Let me give you a hand there. Oh. One of these days, I'm going to put a big fish on the deck back here. And today wasn't too bad. It, it could have been worse. We didn't get skunked. Got a nice stingray, a nice spotted gar, and some small panfish. The crabbing absolutely sucked today. One decent crab worth uh, keeping. My old friend is still here. This orange tabby underneath me. And you're gonna stay here, all right? Cause I'm gonna say this. See you next time.